What's going on, people? I want to sp briefly talk about mandates and religious exemptions. Mandates and religious exemptions. You know, I can, I can, I can understand why you have a lot of corporations that are requiring uh, their employees to um, receive that Vaseline. I can, I can completely understand that because if they don't require it, if they don't mandate it then they themselves will be fine. They would have to pay out money because they did not mandate their workers for that mandate, All right? So I completely understand that, but I think some go over and beyond, uh, be it political or be it that they support it, I think they go over and beyond what they should. Okay, now, when it comes to religious exemptions, or better yet, before I go to religious exemptions, I wanna say this, I think that the only reason why you find that people like Biden, or better yet, this administration, and these big corporations, the only reason why they push in mandates is because they have a pass, they have an exemption, they can't be sued. So they can force you or mandate you to do certain things against your will, against your constitutional will, but they themselves can't be sued. They have so much confidence in the Vaseline that they mandate it, but yet they're protected from being sued. I guarantee you if the judge were to revoke that and put them in a position where if there's any type of reactions or if someone um, dies, then they can be sued. I guarantee you if they remove that exemption, if they remove that protection from being sued, I guarantee you all of this mandate will be done away with. They will, they will cease to mandate people because they don't wanna be sued. It's all about money. In my humble opinion, it's all about the almighty dollar. So if you take away there, if you, excuse me, I thought I heard something. If you take away that protection from them being sued, guarantee you the mandates will go out the window. Guarantee you, guarantee you the only reason why they're doing these mandates and they're pushing these mandates like nothing else. There's, there's so much that's going on around you, so much that people are dealing with. There's so much that's considered a threat to this country, but yet they're focused on mandates. So if you take those, if you take that protection away from them and make it so that they can be sued, the mandates will stop, guarantee you. Now, when it comes to religious exemptions, this acting governor says she spoke to some religious leaders and the religious leaders say that they weren't gonna give their parishioners um, religious exemption. They actually support this mandate. I told you in past videos that you, the devil has ministers too. Keep that in mind. The devil got preachers too. The, the, the devil's got churches out there too. And if your church mandate you, say that you're mandated and that you have to get the Vaseline in order to come to church and worship the Most High, then that's the Most High telling you you don't belong in that church. That's a church that you don't need to belong to. It's time for you to go. And I know some of y'all are out there praying and saying to the Most High, Lord, show me that this is the place that you want me to be. Give me a sign, Lord, like DMX say. Give me a sign, Lord, show me if this is the place you want me to be. And then that church put a mandate on you. That's your answer. It's time for you to leave because there should be a separation of church and state. These churches are mandating because they don't wanna lose their money, their tax exempt status. Because I almost guarantee you that if the churches weren't down with that, it would be they would snatch some tax exempt statuses. If you don't require a mandate, then look, we you ain't getting no government funding here. 
So the devil has his churches too. And those Catholic priests or those Catholic churches don't speak for everybody. So she can't go by what those preachers or those so-called Catholic priests say or what they believe in. She can't go by that. And she's going to use that in court by saying like, well, your honor, I spoke to some Catholic churches and they're not down for it. And they're on our side. Therefore, uh, people should not be able to file for religious exemptions because they don't believe in it. And they're not going to give religious exemption to their parishioners. So everybody else in the state of New York have to now go by what they said to me. But see, that's not everybody's pastor. That's not everybody's priest. See, so if your church is in agreement and your church is requiring you to hold to that mandate in order to come there and worship the most high, it's time for you to leave there. That's your message right there to leave. You should not be a part of that congregation. So the devil has churches too. So just because it's a church and they put Christ on it and they say, God, well, which God are you referring to? See, that's why you hear a lot of us say Yah or Yahweh or Yehovah, right? We actually tell you, we just don't say God or we just don't say the most high. We may say the most high Yah, right? So we let you know who we, who we worship, see? So... You have to really be careful when these churches start speaking and agreeing with the government, start agreeing with the states, start saying, well, we're not going to give them religious exemptions because we don't believe in that. They're not talking for everybody else. They're only speaking for the people that follow them. And if the people in that in that church uh, is in agreement with that, that priest, then that's where they need to be. But if you don't agree with that, it's time for you to leave. That right there is your sign for you to leave. The Most High is speaking to you and telling you that's not the place for you to be. So when it comes to the mandates, if the judges were to snatch away that protection, because if, if I look at it this way. If you're so confident in that Vaseline, if you're so confident in that, then this should be no need for you to be protected from being sued. And I will admit that Trump was the one that did that. Trump was the, the one that gave them that, gave the pharmaceutical companies that protection. But does these, co these companies and corporations, do they have that same protection? Can they be sued if something goes wrong, right? So take away that protection the mandates will go away. That's the only reason why they're mandating it, because they don't want to be fined. And it's because of the fact that they're required to do that, right? So feedback, tell me what you think. Again, I really appreciate you, those that, of you that uh, supported this channel, that clicked on the Cash App and the Venmo or, 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 or Cash App, Venmo or PayPal, and you supported this channel. I really appreciate y'all. You know, so it, it did not go unnoticed. I appreciate that. Until next time, I'm fearless.